let's turn to the other big Met presentation upon which we had some high hopes. That is a drug called Onartuzumab or Metmab. It's a, an antibody against Met that looked very promising in a phase two study, particularly in patients who, uh, who had high expression of Met detected, uh, Met protein on the cells. And uh, this was a combination of erlotinib or Tarceva with onartuzumab in half the patients versus Tarceva alone. So, Nasser, can you tell us some of the highlights of that presentation? Well, we had heard the initial report from this combination several years ago by Dr. Spiegel, who, who presented this wonderful uh, randomized phase two study in the oral session here at ASCO just a few years ago, demonstrating that the combination of this monoclonal antibody to MET combined with Tarceva seemed to confer uh, a outcome advantage in progression-free survival. And, and when they did an analysis of who was more likely to benefit versus uh, who really didn't seem to benefit, it seemed to be in those who had uh, uh, more expression of MET. Now here's the challenge. Uh, and we find this very challenging in uh, oncology in general. Uh, how do you measure this? Uh, what is the cutoff for benefit? Because if you can measure uh, amplification in different ways, and there are different cutoffs. Same with immunohistochemistry, when you just simply uh, stain the protein expression. We generically say things are uh, positive or negative, that they're one plus, or if there's more, there's two plus, or if there's even more, it's three plus. And then sometimes it's in a few cells, and sometimes it's in 10% of the cells, and sometimes it's in 50% of the cells. So what's positive? Is it 50% of the cells that stain intensely? Is it 10% of the cells that stain lightly? Is it just one cell that stains? So this is a major uh, issue that is, uh, that is being dealt with. Now it's easy when there's an EGFR mutation. You can measure that. But in, in these other areas, it is more challenging. So we have a bit of an imperfect way of measuring things, but it's the best we got. So they proceeded to do a phase three study using the best tools that they had to measure this protein as best as they could. And in contrast to the very promising randomized phase two study, they had a very negative randomized phase three study. And they looked at every subset. It's very hard to be very negative, but it was. It was. This is <laughs> negative. And this is really, uh, and sometimes we can find a subset in a negative trial that gives a glimmer of hope that maybe we should enrich the next study with that population. And uh, this one's dead negative. And I don't know. You know, uh, it's a monoclonal antibody. These are different. Functional inhibition is different. Again, uh, understanding the patient population that may benefit is different. So my take on it is uh, we need to go back to the drawing board.